good morning students today we are going to see the topic agreement in failure free system so in a failure free system easily you can achieve the agreement by collecting the information from different processes then from the collected information you have to arrive at a solution or a decision then the decision is distributed to remaining processes in the system so it is very easy to achieve agreement in a failure free system so how the distributed mechanism is used to broadcast the values to others okay for this you can go with some application specific function and all the processes should compute the same function on the values received you can use any algorithm to collect the initial values and to distribute the decision to the other one so all the algorithms should be based on a token circulation on a logical ring or you may go with the three phase tree based broadcast coverage cast or you may go with the broadcast or otherwise you can go with a direct communication with the nodes in a synchronous system to achieve the agreement we go with constant number of rounds whereas in asynchronous system also you can achieve the agreement with a constant number of message hops the next topic is agreement in synchronous system with failure the previous one is agreement in a failure free system whereas here we are going to study about how we are achieving the agreement in a synchronous system with the failure so here we are going to see about two topics one is consensus with utmost m crash faults and the other one is consensus with utmost m byzantine faults so the first one is consensus with utmost m crash faults so here we made the assumption we go with a reliable communication medium and we go with the synchronous system and all the nodes are fully connected and receiver always knows the identity of the sender of the message so what are the steps are there to achieve the agreement in at most m crash faults so here each node should go with m plus 1 rounds to get a conclusion or to make an agreement each node should pass through m plus 1 rounds in the first round every node broadcast their own value whereas in the second round onwards they may broadcast any value that the node has received in the last round the failure of a node may occur in between when it is sharing the values with the other nodes so at most m nodes can get failed in the worst case scenario so if every node goes through m plus 1 rounds then we may make sure that at least in one round all the nodes are in failure free operation and all the nodes gets every value so after m plus 1 rounds every node will select the minimum value this is how we are getting the agreement once again every node goes with m plus 1 rounds to make an agreement in the first round you can broadcast your own value from the second round onwards you may broadcast the new value which value is received in the last round it is broadcasted to the other nodes so we assume that m plus 1 rounds after the m plus 1 rounds we will select the minimum value and we are assured that at least in one round 
where all the nodes are acting very smart that is no failure happened in at least one round and in that round everyone gets every value so you have to select the minimum the second type is consensus with at most m byzantine falls what is byzantine falls means some nodes start behaving maliciously or abnormally so this is called byzantine falls so here the node may send two different value to two different nodes in this case whatever the methods what we have studied in the previously they won't work because the node sends two different values to the successive nodes so the upper bound on byzantine processes we have a formula the number of faulty processes should be less than or equal to n minus 1 by 3 so here we go with the recursive formulation so in the first round the commander sends its value to the other three substitutes so in the sender we have the commander so the commander sends its own value to all the other three substitutes that is pa pb and pd the first diagram shows the malicious process that is the commander sends 0 0 to pd and pb whereas it sends the faulty message 1 to pa it is the malicious process whereas in the second diagram the commander sends 0 to all the other three substitutes so in this case how we reach the agreement so in the first round the commander sends its own value to the other three substitutes in the second round each substitutes relays to other two substitutes the value it received from the commander in the first round that is for example the process pd receives zero from the commander pc so it sends zero to the other two substitutes that is zero to pa and 0 to pb but the process pa receives the value 1 from the commander so he sends the value of 1 to the other two substitutes that is pd and pb so this is what happening in the second round at the end of the second round the substitute takes the majority of the value it received the value is directly from the commander in the first round and from the other two substitutes in the second round you have to consider these three values and which one is having the majority value it is taken as the final value so for example assumed in the second diagram uh, pa is getting three values the value one from pd the value 0 from PC and the value 0 from PB. So among the three values, 0 is a majority. So PA go with the value 0, not with the value 1. So this is how we are getting an agreement using a recursive formulation in a Byzantine agreement tree algorithm. The next algorithm is phase king algorithm. It is for polynomial synchronous system. So the Lampert Shuttuck piece algorithm is called as a phase king algorithm. So here we go with two cases. One is the base case and the second one is the recursive case. Base case is denoted as OM of 0, comma S, whereas the recursive case is denoted as OM of M, comma S. So in the base case, the commander I sends the proposed value V to every other substitute. And each substitute J accepts the value V from the commander. This is the base case. In the recursive case, the commander I sends the value V to every substitute. For example, let the value be Vj. 
the substitute j receives from the commander the substitute now initiates the process om of m minus 1 comma s minus i with the value vj that is the same function is called recursively so again and again we are calling the same function finally we go with the majority value okay that majority value is taken as the final decision so that's about agreement in a failure system so thank you